So what's up guys, today is a really exciting day. We are heading on a road trip to Shizuoka with uh, four people, me, Ushi on the camera, there's Arata who's filming right now, and there's Tomura who's also a photographer. Our plan for this trip is we're gonna be spending uh, two nights and three days on the road. On this trip, we're gonna be using a camper van from Dream Drive. They were uh, kind enough to let us use their cars for two, three days. There's actually beds and there's even a super cool tent on top of the car. So I think if there's enough space for four people to sleep on the road and we're just super excited right now. So our journey in Shizuoka is going to take place in Izu. We're going to be traveling around Izu anti-clockwise. So right now we've come to a peninsula in the western side of Izu. And after that we're going to be going all the way down to a place called Shimoda in the southern part of Izu Hanto. There we're going to be shooting a lot of caves and there's going to be a lot of dreamy locations there. Then we're going to be driving up north to the right side and there there's going to be a lot of shrines and there's even like a really cool mountain called um, Oomuro Mountain. The shape is really unique and uh, there's somewhere I've always wanted to go. And yeah, that's basically our plan for this trip. For today, we're going to go up to the Nishizu skyline and we're going to be flying a drone there, getting some really cool shots of the camper van. This is my like, first time traveling with a camper van, but um, there's a lot of uh, sleeping locations and onsens. So yeah, it should be a really uh, fun trip and all this is a really new experience for me. But yeah, I'm just super excited and you know, let's get some drone actions right now. So we just arrived here in the Nishizu skyline and the roads here look pretty insane. Um, all these guys are flying the drone right now because the clouds are looking great and there's this really pleasing road that goes up the hill and it looks pretty insane from the drone and you know, uh, I think we're gonna get some really cool shots here. So this is day two and we mapped out all the locations that we wanted to visit. Uh, for day two, we are planning to head to Senkamon <laughs> Beach and this place called the, the Blue Cave. Um, they look pretty insane from the pictures, so that's what we're going to try to go. Hi, good morning guys. So this is day two of our camping van trip. Uh, yesterday was a pretty hectic day and you know, after shooting um, sunset, in the Nishi Izu skyline, we immediately came back um, to this um, camping place and we just slept the whole night. Um, we were extremely tired, um, so that's why, yeah, I forgot to film stuff, but you know, we had a good time. Because there's four people on this trip, we have two people sleeping inside the car and two people on top of the tent here. Setting up the tent is pretty easy, everything is already set and you just have to pull out everything. So, yeah, when it comes to like, you know, taking showers and using the bathrooms, uh, we would normally just search up Honsen or like hot spring locations around here. And you know, there's a lot around this area, so it's been really easy um, to just, you know, get all this stuff ready. So, yeah, um, it's really, really cool. And yeah, this morning we decided to take it pretty easy because um, it was raining in the morning. So right now it's about 2 p.m. and we are about to head to those locations and get some really cool footage and hopefully uh, it doesn't rain here. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? I was sleeping inside the camper van. Oh, it was great. It was great. We've been sleeping for like 12 hours or so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, We've been too lazy this morning. <laughs> Tomoya was sleeping in the camp, um, tent right there. How, how was it? Was it nice? It's comfortable? Mm -hmm. That is pretty big, huh? Yeah, it's pretty big. I guess you can stay up there. Maximum two people, two or three, no, yeah. not three, I guess two is the max. Two. 
Right now, everyone's just resting, taking their time to get ready for day two. And we just come down to this beach to just, you know, explore and you just check out the area a little bit more. I've been around the Kanto area a lot. You know, like Yamanashi, uh, Nagano, you know, all that places. I've been there a lot, but it's actually my second time in Shizuoka. And for specifically Izu, this is my first time, so... You know, I'm really excited. Um, there's things that I've never expected here. And the really cool thing about this trip is that we can just sleep wherever we want and we can also charge all our stuff while traveling. We have a lot of camera gears and you know, everyone has like their own stuff. And you know, it's really good that we can just like travel, charge, and by the, by the time we get there, we can just shoot a lot more. <laughs> So we've made it to this bay area and we're about to go on this boat to explore some of the, the caves here and try to capture um, some really cool footage here. So we're at a place called Doga Island and um, it was only a, an hour drive from where we were staying at and we're still part we're we're still in a part of Nishi Izu but after we shoot on the boat we'll be heading down to a place called Shimoda where we'll be capturing another cave but that's gonna be for tomorrow. So just for today uh, we're gonna Try to capture the last sunlight of the day. Hopefully a good sunset to end the day well. Boys are Garrett, let's go. dark but a sunset was epic we were shooting there for a pretty long time and after shooting where you know with the blue hours we were just you know chilling there you know it was really great in Minami Izu there's a place called Gin Inoyu Onsen after going on an onsen there we're gonna go down to Shimoda camp there and tomorrow morning we're gonna check out the Dugu cave which is gonna look epic I'm super hyped for this one This is day three and this is our final day of our trip. Last night we slept at a place called Michinoiki. It was a parking lot near the Dugu cave and we thought it would be perfect to just stay, stay here so that we don't have to drive a lot the next morning. For our final day we were checking out the Dugu cave and then we were heading up north um, to the Omro mountain and I think that's going to be our final destination of this journey. Um, it's been really hectic but it's been a really comfortable trip. So because we don't have to worry about uh, hotels on this trip. We've made a lot of like spontaneous decisions on the way. So it's been a little bit stress free and I'm just really excited for today's spot. This camping car is <laughs> but the side of the bed is just a bed, it's like a bed kind of thing. It's like a sofa. So it's a bit of a sofa. So I want to change this to a sofa. Oh no 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 We thought we were able to go inside the cave and you know have fun shooting but I guess uh, there was a barrier here so the place is great but if you want to ex escape the crowd I highly recommend just going really early like around 9am. That was one of the most toughest walks that we ever did for this trip. Everyone was super tired. It took us about 20 minutes to get all the way there. It doesn't look too bad here, but the stream is really tight and it was such a ride. We're on the lift right now heading up to the mountains. Um, I guess they only allow people <laughs> to go up and go down with the ropeways. 
for the lift, so um, yeah. We're going up right now, but the place closes in about 10 minutes, so we only have 10 minutes to shoot. Hopefully in that 10 minutes, we can get some really cool shots. So. But we are rushing. We captured the last um, sunlight of the day, so hopefully uh, we got some really cool footage. <laughs> So we just finished our last shoot of the day. So yeah, this camper van trip here in Shizuoka has been a blast. It's been pretty hectic. Um, we are super tired, but the stuff we saw is amazing. And to be honest, I never expected that Shizuoka had this much um, nature and some beautiful locations. You know, it's been a blast just, you know, hanging out with these guys. And, you know, it's, I feel like, you know, traveling with these camper vans, you get to like really bond um, with your friends. And it's been a real cool experience. Traveling with a camper van has been super easy. Um, there's a lot of resting spots and onsens around the Izu Islands. So, you know, you don't have any problems. You know, the beds and all that were pretty comfortable and we didn't have a problem um, sleeping. So, I don't know, it's been really cool and it's been a really fresh experience. And I'm really glad that I got to experience this with my friends. And I hope to do more of these road trips in the future. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.